Back on Beacon Hill, a final proposal was agreed upon that would give undocumented immigrants the ability to obtain a driver's license. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has the latest on this final agreement. Legislation has already passed the House and the Senate, and on Thursday, a conference committee met to iron out the details. Within only a few hours after the Senate named their conference committee representatives, a final proposal was submitted without the support of the two Republicans on the committee. Under the legislation, undocumented immigrants would be able to apply for a license, and the ID would be valid for basic identification and driving. Supporters of the legislation argue that this will make roads safer by ensuring all drivers would be properly trained and certified. Opponents believe it's just a step too far. Senator Ryan Fatman voted against the legislation earlier this month and also did not sign on to the conference committee report. I think there's two major problems with it. One, it's counterproductive for our identity theft laws. And two, it's counterintuitive to trying to have someone who's here legal, illegally then try to become legal uh, by giving them a card. You know, you're disincentivizing that. These licenses would not be a real ID, so it would not be a valid form of federal identification. The two underlying bills both have strong enough margins to survive a veto from Governor Baker, who has stated his concerns with the legislation. The conference committee report will go back to both branches for approval before making its way to Governor Baker's desk. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.